Hey guys, what's up? Football player one two three and JD Sports six four six. So today here, first day of the podcast. First, we're gonna talk about. All right, guys. Actually, before he says some crazy stuff, we are going to talk about what the podcast name will be. You guys link it down in the comments below. So we'll see the names. Pick one of the best names. And then that will be our podcast name. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We have the Tampa Bay Philadelphia Eagles game. By the way, actually, wait, wait, before wait, wait. that, Jason Kelsey is retiring. Are you crazy? I don't know about how, how many of you have heard. Man has a great career, but he is ending up retiring. All right. So Tampa Bay versus Philly. We all saw this coming. Even the broadcasters for the for the game saw this coming. Thirty-two to nine. AJ Brown. They were in a slump. And A.J. Brown was not playing. So, it's a pretty easy win for them. All right, let's move on to the next game. Okay, come on now. The Bills Steelers. Everyone saw the Bills winning this game. Yeah, they've been on a really big rampage, just destroying teams. I mean, they lost. They lost. Uh, I mean, I thought I thought they maybe could have lost this game, but then they just, the Pittsburgh Steelers sold this game in the fourth quarter. Pittsburgh Steelers didn't have Kenny Pickett. It's hard to win without your starter. Now, the Detroit was L.A. Rams. Puke and Akua played his butt off, but just the Detroit Lions are so good, it's hard to beat. I mean, they, they, I mean, hi, man. it's hard. It's hard. Especially when you're away, too. It's hard for the Rams. Now, something new one saw coming here. Green Bay beating Dallas by 16. Another Dallas fall-off. In the playoffs, like... Dallas is just a playoff cast team, man. I don't think they're going to get past the NFC uh, NFC uh, round for a long time coming. Like, they're just in a huge slump right now. Okay. Chiefs Miami. I bet you a lot of you thought that this would be a closer game. But turns out, she... I mean, the Miami's offense just didn't show up. And the defense honestly didn't show up. But the Chiefs defense showed up and the offense. So, do you guys think that will carry over to next game against the Buffalo Bills? That's probably objective. He's a Chiefs fan. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Now, another pretty surprising one. I understand that Houston is... But we all thought the Houston versus Cleveland game would be at least a neck-to-neck game. But no. It's a 45-14 blowout. I'm pretty sure Joe Flacco just... Did not show up. He threw a lot of interceptions. His receivers were not catching the ball as they should. I mean, it was just an awful game. The defense was playing horrible. Awful, awful game. Okay, to end up the podcast for you guys, we're going to set our predictions for next week. Set. All right. Hold up. If you guys just don't mind giving us a second real quick. Alright guys, sorry for the long wait, but here we go. We have the Texans versus Ravens at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, or 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time at on January. Oh yeah, 4.30, my bad, my bad. 4.30 p.m. on Saturday. So, Alright. For my, my predictions on this. Don't say that I'm just saying this because the Ravens are obviously the better team. They're at home here, and I understand the Texans here. They're a good team and all, but they have a rookie quarterback, and they really don't have, like, that much to experience. To be fair, I think CJ Stroud is rookie of the year. Boy, for he led this sh- Texas Texans team to a playoff, the, I mean, divisional round team. Like, even Tank Dell's out. Like, this guy is legit. He's not a fraud like Brock Purdy. He is legit. Okay, now, speaking of Brock Purdy, we have the Packers versus Niners. Jack, who do you think is going to come on top? I mean, guys, guys, hear me out. I think the 
Jordan Love led Packers are going to win. Jordan Love played a phenomenal game last game. He, his defense is decent. He could carry a team to beat these Niners. I feel they could win 31 to 24 against these Niners. Okay. Another thing based on mainly experience. I think that the Packers will put up a fight, but I mean, really, they're they have a really young team right now. Like they lost their experienced players like Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers. And it's just gonna be really hard to beat a really good team on the road like that. Alright guys, next we have this Bucks vs. Lions game at three o'clock Eastern time. So Buccaneers vs. Lions. We all know Lions are going to win. I know the Bucks have a good story in mind. Actually, no. I think Buccaneers are winning 35-21. to 21. This is not going to be a close game, really. But I feel like these Bucks are going to be in the NFC NFC Championship game and possibly win it all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Buccaneers. Because they played outstanding against the Eagles. Sure, the Eagles on a slump. They're out without one of their better players. But come on now. You have to think. This was a team who almost won the Super Bowl last year. Just because of one player, they're not going to play bad. So the Buccaneers had to do really well. So I'm okay. Gonna get the so we have the Chiefs for spills at 6.30 Eastern time. It's on Sunday, too. I don't know, Jack. What do you think of this game, JG Sports 646? Okay. I'm going to go with the Bills here. I mean, the Chiefs have won recent matchups, but, like, I mean, the Bills are just really good. Okay, as a Chiefs fan, I'm going to go with the Chiefs here because I feel like the Chiefs played a standing game in the snow. Okay, so the Bills also played an outstanding game, but they weren't really, like, in the snow. The Chiefs were basically playing in snow. They were playing in harsher conditions than the Bills. I feel like the Chiefs will come out on top. Let me see. 27-20. to 20. It's going to be a hard-fought game. The Chiefs win it in the last drive of the game. That's my prediction. Say, I'm going to say Bills 27-24. All right, and that will be it for y'all. Tell us how you like the first episode of the L, I mean, of the, you guys get a comment down below what the podcast name is. All right, guys, see you next week. If we post next week, we might, we post possibly Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, maybe Friday, but I have football games on Friday and I can't really do that. So, all right, guys, see you later. Peace.